Hello, and welcome to 73 Words in the 732, short stories from the East Brunswick Public Library. I am your host, Melissa Hosick. Since 2018, the library has been celebrating National Short Story Month with a short story competition. With inspiration from our area code 732, we challenged our community to write short stories with 73 words or less. This podcast showcases some of our authors from the grown-up category. Today, we are joined by Como Mera from East Brunswick. Welcome, Como. Thank you so much, Melissa. Thanks a lot for this creative platform. It's a pleasure to be here. When did you start writing? Well, this question has transported me to my childhood days and has brought back so many good old memories. My love for creative writing started when I was around 11 years old and I penned down my first words. I vividly remember the poem was titled Mother Teresa and I wrote it to express my feelings on her demise. Being a self-taught young budding writer, I gradually added more skills and zeal to my writings and I think I was in 12th grade when an article of mine was featured for the first time in a local newspaper. You know, I still have the cutting of that newspaper with me. This was about 17 years back, and I still continue to write and contribute. What inspired you to write your 73 words in the 732 submission? Well, it is truly stated that writing is an art form that involves creativity, imagination, and skills to create something beautiful and emotionally expressive. I feel the aforesaid line somewhere explain my inspiration to write my 73 word story. I have always been awed by fantasy and magic. So as soon as I got to know about the 73 word short story contest, I thought of creating something magical and at the same time something I could relate to. So I blended my imaginative vision, my creative spark and my emotional expressions to pen down the story the fairy mom in just 73 words. We'd love to hear you read it for us. Sure, thank you. It's such a delight to read out a story that I have created by myself. So here I go. The fairy mom. With tears trickling down her rosy cheeks, she ran up to her mom. Hesitantly opening her tiny fist, she showed her the broken tooth. Embracing her, the mom asked to put the tooth under her pillow at night. The girl did the same, and in the morning, she peeped under the pillow to find a beautiful necklace in place of her tooth. The girl ran happily to hug her fairy mom. Thank you so much for sharing your story, and again, we appreciate your time, Como. Thank you so much for this awesome platform to showcase my skills. I look forward to more of such creative opportunities. Thanks a lot. Thank you for joining us today on 73 Words in the 732. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Check out our back catalog anywhere you listen to podcasts and subscribe to be notified of our future episodes. 